Neumann had it all figured out, in my opinion. The shape of the head basket, which is round and not completely acoustically transparent, so the sound bounces around and it has a resonance. If it worked for the Everly Brothers and it worked for the Beatles. No kidding, I did. Basically, any movie soundtrack recording that you'll hear with a big orchestra that was done at Abbey Road, uh, whether it's Superman or Batman or um, Star Wars, the main pickup of the orchestra is a trio of these things. Well, this is the original configuration of the condenser microphones. Condenser mics were developed earlier than moving coil microphones or ribbon microphones. Uh, and this is the, the last measurement microphone that they made, and they made these uh, until 1970. This is a 56. It's a side-firing microphone, a side-address microphone, yeah. as opposed to these mics, which are all end-address. Uh, and there are actually uh, photos from Beatles sessions where they're using these for vocal mics. I know the 67 is one of the four mics that changed the world. Part of what we love about the sound of these microphones is that through a lifetime of listening to music, we recognize the sound of these microphones. Yeah. It's something that sounds like a record to us.